Former Twitter security chief Peter Zacco testified before the Senate Judiciary Committee on Tuesday. During the hearing, Zacco agreed when Senator Dick Durbin asked point blank of quote, there's a lot more information being collected by Twitter beyond that basic information that's going to be used for different purposes. Zacco was hired by Twitter after a devastating 2020 attack in which hackers broke into Twitter accounts belonging to former President Obama and Bill Gates, among others. In his testimony to the government, Zacco alleged he saw multiple failings in Twitter security that led him to believe the company was, quote, misleading the public, lawmakers, regulators, and even its own board of directors over its ability to protect user data. Full disclosures, and I am here to answer any questions you may have about them. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Zadko. I'll start the questioning, and as I mentioned, each member will have six minutes to ask you questions. Those of us who are not expert but rely on the Internet every day for personal, professional reasons know that many times we are given disclosures, lengthy disclosures of a scroll across the screen which are hardly ever read, in my estimation, and usually end up with a bottom box that said approve. Uh, and that is as far as we go. Uh, uh, warning about what we're getting into. Can we get into the real world now and talk about whether or not consumers across America have a right to be warned if they're opening or using a Twitter account as to what's going to happen with their data? For example, if I disclose my name and my address and my email address, I expect that that may be vulnerable. Somebody could, could dis use that in some future time. You hope not, but it could happen. But what I infer from your testimony and what we've read about your findings is there's a lot more information being collected by Twitter beyond that basic information that is going to be used by them for different purposes. Is that a fact? Yes, uh, I, I entirely concur. I mean, when we sign up for an account, you know, I hope that the company is being responsible and not just saying that they are, you know, would, would like the data to be used correctly and safely, but that they're actually able to quantifiably, internally, you know, guarantee that that is the case. Um, as far as the type of data, uh, I believe Senator Grassley, uh, you know, referred to an incident. We had uh, a user on Twitter that was harassing some members of the executive team and some members of the board. Uh, and as an example, uh, this person, the CTO, came to me and said, Mudge, um, you know, is this a real viable threat? Do I need to be worried? You know, who is this person? And it took me maybe uh, 30 minutes to reach out to an employee and say, what do we know about this person? And then it only took that person maybe 10 minutes to get back to me and said, okay, here's who they are. This is the address where they live. This is where they are physically at this moment. They're on their phone. We know their phone number. We also know all of the other accounts that they've tried to set up on the system and hide. And we know who they are on the other social media platforms as well. So unbeknownst to a Twitter account user, uh, there is access to information far beyond what you think you've disclosed uh, that can be found. Should there be a warning? You say at one point Twitter has about 20% of its vast trove of data registered and managed, meaning the company is incapable of securing the sensitive information it collects. Tell me... That is a pretty stark statement and suggests that a warning to users is that literally anything that you disclose or use the account for uh, is traceable and could be used for bad purpose. Yes. Um, in this case, uh, my concern was more that Twitter didn't even know what it was collecting. And uh, this was one of the problems because I kept looking at why do they keep having so many security incidents, the same amount, you know, each year after year? Why are the same percentages, um, you know, from the same systemic problems? Why aren't we closing on this? What is fundamentally under the hood uh, broken? Where is the systemic failure? And then it turned out from an internal study that the engineers did on their own because they weren't given, uh, you know, the, the cover and the time and the resources to do this as part of their job, that only about 20% of the information that they had that they were collecting, did they know why they got it, you know, why the person had given it to them, how it was supposed to be used, you know, when it was supposed to be deleted, um, you know, so, uh, and that the remaining, I think it was 80%, I refer you to the disclosures for the specific numbers, 
um, was, hey, we know that our systems are using some of this other data, but we don't know what it is. And then a lot of the data, they just recognized, we don't even know what these are. Petabytes, huge amounts of data. And they did a sampling, and that included personally identifying information, phone numbers, addresses. So for me, the concern there is anybody with access inside Twitter, and half the company has access to the production environment that has this, could go rooting through and find this information and use it for their own purposes. So if 80% of the data that is being collected is in fact registered, or not registered and managed, uh, and the one with the Twitter account person is vulnerable in that regard, I wouldn't exactly give a passing grade to Twitter when it comes to the security of information that they've gathered. Now let me ask you on the other side of the ledger, would you grade as well the government agencies that have some responsibility to make sure that the American consumer's privacy and security is protected? For example, the Federal Trade Commission, Securities and Exchange Commission, and others. Um, so that was something that I was uh, I, that came to mind as well. I said, we've had a 2011 consent decree. This is, this is over a decade. How have we been passing this, especially since... Uh, there were at least two more times where there were violations for the exact same problem, the misuse of email data that was collected for security purposes but then turned around and used for marketing, which was a violation of the assumption of why you were providing them the data. How come we keep making these uh, same mistakes? Uh, hasn't, you know, what, is, what is the FTC missing? Or, or what is it that we are telling the FTC as Twitter that is incorrect? And I think, I think, honestly, I think the FTC is, is a little, you know, over their head. They've, they've compared to the size of the big tech companies and the challenge they have against them, they're left letting companies grade their own homework. And I think that's one of the big challenges. I'm running out of time, and I'll just say that uh, I think that the area of great concern as well is the access of foreign governments and foreign agencies to the same data. Americans signing up for Twitter uh, have no idea that they are at least vulnerable to that possibility, and we know that the uh, conviction of individuals in Saudi Arabia or for dealing with the Saudi government is proof positive of that possibility. Thank you very much. Senator Grassley? Yeah, I'm going to take off where the chairman just left off. The communist Chinese government bans Twitter Yet companies based in China advertise on the platform. When a user clicks on such an advertisement, they've uh, 